Welcome to Tips with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this happy Saturday. I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend so far. I hope you guys are rocking it out, whatever you decided to do. I hope it's awesome. I hope you guys are had a great week and you are ready for the rest and recovery time that we have it. Um, cu a couple quick updates before we get started. Uh, today only, doTERRA is doing a bo uh, BOGO, by, uh, actually it's a BO, <laughs> it's a BOGO times two is what it is. It's a buy one, get two free, buy a spearmint today, today only, and get a lemon and tangerine for free. So that's uh, three for the price of one. Really cool deal if that's something that interests you. Um, another quick update, I am in the finishing touches of putting together a weight loss course for beginners that I am putting together. Um, if you or someone you know of is interested in this, definitely drop me a comment, send me a message, we'll get you some early bird access. There's tons of cool stuff that comes along with that. Um, actually, that's what I wanted to talk a little bit about today was we have a, the BOGO deal from doTERRA is um, uh, essential oils that are great for uplifting the mood, right? So today I want to talk about some ways to be happier. Uh, happiness is one of those things that, um, you know, it, it, it sort of eludes us for a long period of time. And then we start, it, it sort of comes in waves, right? It, it comes and goes. It's a period of time where you're really happy and everything's going well and you're loving life and everything's awesome. And there's periods of time where, you know, maybe you could... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, things would be going a little bit better for you. And uh, so that's where I wanted to come on and give some tips that sort of help me to sort of manage the day-to-day -day, uh, hustle and bustle, grind, if you will. And I wanted to share them with you. Hopefully, get some value out of them. Tip number one is to choose happiness. Uh, this one is huge because when it all boils down to it, right, happiness is a choice. And a lot of, uh, especially us uh, over here in North America, um, you know, Canada and USA for in, in particular, we are privileged to so much that we don't even really understand how much we have to be or th that we have in general. And yet you always hear people talk about, you know, I don't have the latest this and, and, you know, I don't have, you know, the nice new shoes or the, you know, a, 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 the, the latest shirt something like that, designer jeans, right? And that's that's really what we hear about. And that's really what it comes down to is when you uh, think that you don't have enough, then that's really what you get more of, right? We, we become what we think about. So when we're thinking about all of what we don't have, we actually get more of what we don't have. When we think about what we do have, we're grateful for what we do have, and we choose happiness, we get more happiness, right? So happiness is a choice. You can, every, every scenario that comes up in life, you have two ways to look at it, right? You can look at it as a, as a positive or as a negative, right? As a learning experience or something that happened to you, right? What was it happened to you or happened for you, right? So that's where this one is huge. I love this one because it's actually something that I had to learn, uh, really for me. Um, Tina is really good at this. She is, uh, able to take every situation and make it a good one. For me, I tend to be more realistic to things and I tend to look at the negative side of things a little bit more than I should, right? So for me, this is something that I really had to learn and really had to get good at. Um, you know, for me, I'm grateful every day that I have Tina, that's somebody that's super happy all the time. That really shows me that there's a way that you can choose happiness versus choosing, uh, you know, sadness, overwhelm, upset. Uh, so that's really what I, I, I really had to learn for me is that every situation either happens to you or it happens for you, right? There's two ways of looking at it. You can either take it as a positive learning experience or you can take it as a negative, you know, attack on you, right? So that's really, that one was really huge for me. Choose happiness. And then more, that's really the way that it works, right? It, it, it's, it's, it's just one of those things that when you choose happiness and you, you are happy and you think happy thoughts and you live a happy life, you, you get more happiness in your life and you get more to be happy for and things just end up going uh, the way that you want them to, right? You've heard of the, that person, right? Everything they touch turns to gold. Um, they're, they're not lucky, right? They, they are just 
choosing happiness, right? There's a, there's a law for every action. There's an equal and opposite reaction, right? So for if you choosing happiness, there has to be an equal reaction to you being happy. Tip number two is to smile more, right? Show your pearly whites. Um, I love this one because no matter how upset you are, and this, this one is actually, it, 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 it's sort of one of those that you're just like, I don't really want to. But when you smile for, when you're upset and you smile for an extended period of time, you, you just hit that moment, right? There's that certain moment where you just forget what you were mad at. You kind of brush it off as like, all right, fine, whatever, you're right. It wasn't really that bad. Um, you know, you, you just kind of start to see that, or you even make yourself laugh, right? You're, you're over there and you're just like, you know, fine, whatever. You know, it wasn't really that important what we were, what I was thinking about anyways, or what we were fighting about. And so, and actually a, 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 another cool thing that I, that I learned about smiling is it actually takes more muscles to smile than it does to frown. So, I mean, you basically take that as an exercise, right? You're smiling, you're basically exercising, you're, you're, you're burning calories, right? So you're losing weight. And I mean, if that's not reason to smile enough, right? <laughs> burning calories and losing weight and, you know, your, your clothes are going to start to fit. Uh, things are going to start to look to, to, to start to seem better for you, right? So that's not reason to smile. <laughs> I don't know what is, but, um, this is one of those things that this is actually one of those things that you can fake it until you make it. Um, so that's, like I said, when you're upset, just smile and keep smiling until you feel super uncomfortable. And then you will, it, it'll just reach that certain moment in time, right? Where you just kind of forget, or you just brush it off as it wasn't really that important. Um, tip number three, exercise and eat well. Um, I mean, this is, this is really the base of, uh, living, right? Uh, um, being, uh, comfortable in your body, right? Um, less stress, less overwhelm. And I like this one because when we eat well and we exercise, we tend to look better or no, we tend to feel better. And when we tend to feel better, we tend to, um, make better decisions. And then when we make better decisions, we look better, right? Because we're losing weight, we're getting healthy, we're getting back in shape, right? And so then when we look better, we tend to keep making those good decisions, right? So we make the good decision, we exercise, we eat healthy, that leads us to looking better, right? We lose in weight, we're kind of feeling a little bit more comfortable in our body, we're kind of, uh, um, you know, we're fitting into clothes that maybe we didn't fit in before, or our clothes are, are becoming looser than they were before, right? And then we feel good. So when we feel good, we want to keep that cycle going. So I, I really like talking about this one in terms of keeping that, that feel good cycle going, right? Um, when you're exercising and you're eating well, you're releasing those chemicals in the brain, right? The, the serotonin and the dopamine, right? The, the feel good chemicals. So that, that in itself is just an easy way for you to feel good and to smile and get happy again. Um, as much as maybe you don't like doing it, right? Exercising can seem like a whole thing. Uh, gym memberships, all that. I, I love preaching about how easy uh, exercise and proper nutrition can be because exercising can be nothing more than, you know, parking further from the, the door at the grocery store or uh, taking the stairs, right, instead of the elevator. For me, I live on the ninth floor of, a, of an apartment building. So if I were to tell me to take the stairs, I would just kind of laugh at myself and I would be like, yeah, okay, maybe later, buddo. Um, but I could probably get off the elevator one floor sooner, right? Maybe two floors sooner and then take the stairs that way. Um, eating well is nothing more than, um, you know, breakfast is a huge one. Every, uh, uh, not everyone, but the majority of people skip breakfast. And breakfast is meant to break the fast of sleeping, right? So if you're not eating for, you know, two, three hours before you go to bed, and then you're sleeping for, you know, six, seven, eight, nine hours at night, you know, and then you're not eating for another two, three hours when you wake up, that's like 15, 16 hours without food, right? So 
that's where that's where our metabolism starts slowing down, right? Our body starts storing fat because it doesn't know when it's going to get its next meal. Um, you just feel lethargic, bloated. Um, you're not sleeping properly, right? This is all stuff that that it's just that 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 snowball effect, right? So exercising, proper nutrition, that will be huge in helping you feel better. And then when you feel better, you will tend to keep making better decisions, and then that will lead you to be happier and it, it'll lead you to be more comfortable and more happier in your own body. Uh, okay, so we are talking ways to be happier here, right? Number one, choose happiness. It is definitely a choice. Um, number two, smile more. Number three, exercise and proper nutrition. Number four, practice gratitude. This one is huge because I talked a little bit about this before with the choose happiness. Uh, when you're grateful for stuff, you tend to get more stuff to be grateful for. When you think in terms of, I don't have that latest designer watch or my car is not the latest one, right? I don't have that latest uh, Ford F-150. Um, these are, they, they, that's when you always, um, you always run into situations where you need more, right? And you feel that you don't have enough or you aren't enough and you need to, um, you know, have more in order to be happier. But when you're grateful for what you have, right? This is this is huge, especially for us up in here in North America, Canada, U.S. Um, right? Everything, right? This this table right here was was built by somebody. This glass was built by somebody, right? The 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 this chair was built by somebody. The it was woven by somebody. The the, somebody grew the sheep, right, for the material, and somebody plant. Somebody had the land, right, used the land, and the farmers. Right? So there's there's so much to be grateful for, and um, and this is one of the things that we don't we don't take into, into consideration because we always we always are faced with situations where we think that we don't have enough, or we aren't enough, or we need, if only something was different, or if only you know my dad would have been that rich person, or if only I. You know, I had a rich uncle that died or, right? This is all stuff that we are thinking about always, right? So we need to just be grateful for what we have. And when we're grateful for what we have, we can get more to be grateful for. That's real, that's the way the universe works. When we, when we want more, when we think we need more, when we always are craving more, that's when we always are into situations where we feel like we need more, right? Um, you know, what is, uh, what does the Bible say? Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, right? So, the, you know, you, you need to be grateful for what you have, and therefore you will get more to be grateful for. It's just the way the universe works. It's awesome. For me, actually, I've started writing down three things that I'm grateful for every single morning. Um, so that way I can just, pr I can get in the habit of practicing gratitude all day. Number four, number five, positive affirmations. Yes. I love this one. I love these ones because um, affirmations are nothing more than words that you just repeat um, and, and you're, you're forming, you're trying to form your subconscious, right? So you're repeating them into your subconscious mind to be able to uh, um, allow your subconscious to bring your conscious mind into form, right? It's, it's, it's a huge, powerful thing. But positive affirmations are nothing more than I am statements, right? I have a few of them here that I'd be happy to share with you. Um, right. And these are, these are definitely about, do I have some for, uh, for happiness? I have some for, um, uh, money for purpose right here. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. So positive affirmations are, I am happy with what I have. I am in a relationship with joy and fun. I am blessed to be happy. I am eager to unfold new ways of joy today. I am persistent in chasing my dreams, right? So these are our positive affirmations. I am statements, right? I am happy, right? I am grateful for what I have. I am happy in my body. I am comfortable with where I am in my life at this current moment, right? So this is, this is what we need to practice because when we, when we're grateful for what we have and we do the positive affirmations and we repeat it over and over into our subconscious mind, our subconscious mind starts to form the stuff into fruition and brings it into, um, you know, the, the, what is it? The, uh, uh, there's a word I'm looking for, but it brings it into a form, right? So it, of reality. 
So when you positive, when you put positive affirmations into your subconscious, you and you start living that life, right? That then, then you start noticing the changes and things start happening, things start snowballing and they start rolling in your favor and that's when you start to want to keep doing it, right? When stuff, when you get rewarded for something, you definitely want to keep going at it, right? It's just the reason we go to work, I think. Um, but for most people. Number six, one, two, three. So t- number one, ways to be happier. Number one, choose happiness. Number two, smile more. Number three, exercise and proper nutrition. Number four, practice gratitude. Number five, positive affirmations. Number six, let go of perfection. This one is huge. And I love this one because I am not perfect. I do not try to be perfect. There is almost nothing that I can do that is per- that is perfectly perfect, right? So for me, I'm okay with it. I am perfectly fine with good enough. <laughs> I have gotten over the fact that I won't be perfect. And for me, it doesn't really bother me that much because <clears throat> I know that good enough is what I can perform, right? I am not going to be perfect, not even close all the time. So that's where, for me, I got over the fact that perfection had to be a thing for me. So that's where I, I love talking about this. You need to let go of being, of try, trying to be perfect. Because when you're trying to be perfect, <clears throat> excuse me, you, you lose sight of everything good that you're doing, right? Because you are doing very good things along the way, right? This is where I talk about trust the process, right? The process is going to bring you to your end goal. And when you're doing greatness along the way, but you're too worried about being perfect, making it perfect, the end product perfect, you're going to miss all of the fun stuff that you did along the way. Also, you're not really going to get everything as perfect as you would like it, so it's going to lead to a lot to stress, overwhelm, right? When you're stressed, you're not caring about your exercise, your proper nutrition, so therefore you're not feeling very well anymore, you're not sleeping very well anymore, and everything starts to snowball against you, right? So this is let go of the perfection, be all right with good enough, and I I promise you it will allow you to be a little bit more happier with yourself you will understand, you will just not feel that super stress and overwhelm and it will allow you to um, produce more, right? Make more production in life when you're trying, when you're, when you let go of trying to be perfect and, and just be okay with good enough. My last tip more than anything is essential oils. Uh, I love using essential oils because I, uh, um, uh, our brain actually works in a specific way that uh, particular smells bring back memories, right? So when you smell something, um, you know, baked bread, right, brings back grandma's house or or certain foods bring back, you know, nice family dinners, family outings, right? So I love using essential oil to help re- refresh your memory, right? And to, to what they do is they, they work with your limbic brain, right, your limbic system to help to, to uh, bring back those cool memories that you have. Um, and then today we have... Um, what we have is um, doTERRA is doing a BOGO deal. So when you buy spearmint, spearmint, you get tangerine and lemon oil for free. Say what? Uh, and actually, this one is a really cool um, combo, I guess you will, uh, if you will, because spearmint is a great oil for uh, for uh, uplifting and invigorating. Tangerine is actually my, one of my favorite oils. Uh, I love using that one. Lemon is great for, uh, uh, it's naturally cleansing and detoxifying, so it's great for promoting gut health. Um, I love these ones, and uh, like I said, today only, buy one, get two free, if you're interested. That's all I got for you for today. I really hope you enjoyed this. I know I had some fun making it. Feel free to share this with your friends, a family member, perhaps somebody from your team that you feel needs to hear this. Uh, If you'd like to learn more about essential oils or how to get your hands on some of this cool stuff that I'm talking about, or if you would like a free sample of oils, definitely drop me a comment, send me a message saying me, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you guys have an awesome rest of your weekend, and I look very forward to talking to you again. I love you guys. Bye for now.